Robert Zemeckis' latest film is called Welcome to Marwin, based on a true story about a guy who is the victim of a hate crime. He spent about half the movie in his imagination, where there's dolls with guns killing Nazis, and it's just totally over the top. It's a really unusual film, a lot of heart, a lot of great action, and certainly has a look that's never really been done before. We had some real challenges when we actually dove into this movie. Bob was really adamant that he wanted the actors' faces, their performances, to really come through. This was a very non-traditional motion capture process because we're mocapping the actors and the cameras, but we also have to light the actors as if it's in the final movie because we're using their faces, right? So the faces, the lighting on their faces has to match exactly to how they're gonna appear in their digital dolls in this fantastical world that they're in. So to accomplish that, we had the entire world in Unreal lit and ready to go when we hit the motion capture stage. Once we were on stage, we were able to look at one monitor that is what the Alexa 65, the production camera, was showing us, and then another monitor that was the imaginary world, right? It was the dolls in their proper costumes, and they're there performing in this beautiful miniature town that's all built out in Unreal with like wavy grass and uh, really visually spectacular. And I think that was hugely important for not only the camera team and Bob Zemeckis as the director, but also really inspired the actors. And as a result of embracing technology and the value that those tools bring to the process, we were able to make this movie for double the efficiency that a normal film would have been made. When we sort of horse raced all the engines against each other, there was a, uh, a sense that the flexibility that we would actually get with Unreal in terms of the decisions that we were making there on the day on set was superior to the alternative options. And we also felt like the look that it provided was something that was more suitable to the content right out of the box. One of the things that I think makes Unreal really well suited to film production is that the team actually has a big, deep background in film production. There's a movie way of doing stuff, and Unreal just oozes that. For me, the most rewarding thing about working on Welcome to Marwin was just making something that genuinely nobody has seen before the act of rethinking the entire workflow and coming up with such a beautiful result from the team was, I can't describe how satisfying that is. Mm -hmm.